The koala bear looks to bridge the gap between a funky retro teardrop camper and an affordable, reliable off-road trailer. It's constructed from solid pine and birch. You'll find no particle board in its walls. It comes with all-terrain tires as standard with the option to beef them up along with the suspension to suit your needs. An auxiliary battery means you can charge your phones and devices while you pump Zs inside. Unlike many in its class, it has five-foot-high ceilings inside the sleeping area, which can fit up to five on the modular couch if you're looking to entertain guests. The Trail Stomper is a 298-pound prototype camping trailer looking to corner the featherlight market. It is designed to be towed behind smaller vehicles while still offering great off-the-grid style features. The trailer itself sports independent coilover suspension and has 25 cubic feet of storage space despite its small stature. It has a slide-out kitchenette area with a small fridge, an auxiliary battery with lighting, and a weather awning. Two adults can sleep snugly on top in a fold-out tent, accessed by a sturdy ladder. As the saying goes, travel happy, travel light. Also looking to throw their hat in the ultralight camper category is the Heo T3, which is a great choice when something a little more robust is in order. It's essentially a closed-in luggage trailer with a rooftop tent. But don't let the simplicity fool you. This 700-pound workhorse wears off-road tires for a reason. The tent is substantially larger, able to squeeze in three adults. A full extension sliding cargo tray that comes out the side is perfect for setting up a little cooking area while camping. Its heavier duty frame allows for a much larger tent on top. Now for something a little different, as the Coachman Clipper is a teardrop-style mini camper with a twist. The rear portion is actually a pop-up tent, serving to increase real estate while still keeping everything as compact as possible. Its mesh screen and fabric walls provide the option to be a bit more at one with nature and enjoy the outdoors while you lay back on the full-size, full-thickness double mattress. It comes with a slide-in portable toilet, water heater, and outside shower, meaning you won't have to rough it between campsite shower blocks. The deluxe model comes with an air conditioner and small furnace to cover your comfort on either side of the temperature dial of extreme weather. On the inside, a basin and dishwasher make it feel like home. A slide-out kitchen and pop-out barbecue complete the whole package, pint-sized. One of the heaviest on the list, only just squeezing under the 2,000 pound mark, the No Boundaries 10.6 makes up for it by adding a bit more glamp to your camp with a queen-sized bed. This can then be folded to make a pretty decent-sized couch. It brags the highest ground clearance in its class, a salute to the off-road DNA found in its heavier-duty frame and suspension design. It can be powered from main power 
the tow vehicle or its own onboard batteries. It has a handy slide-out cooking and fridge area that neatly fits within the footprint. An exclusive Rhino rack provides the stability needed to add a rooftop tent to house another couple or a myriad of awnings, cargo cages, and kayaks if they take your fancy. There's something retro chic and just plain cool about a vintage teardrop camper. The tiny camper does all the basics well and offers an authentic no-frills camping experience straight out of the 60s. Hardwood floors inside are a nice touch, as is the small AC unit to keep you cool on a hot summer's night. It can accommodate two people on a twin XL single mattress and offers a range of side panel color options. Snugly, simplicity at its best. Unlike other mini campers designed to be pulled behind smaller cars, the Backpacker 2 manages to fit a spacious sleeping area and an extended rear fold-out kitchen. The sleeping area transforms from couch arrangement to a massive 6 foot 8 inch long by 4 foot 3 inch wide sleeping area, more extensive than most in this category. Inside there is a private area with a door for a removable toilet and beautiful wood grain veneers to give it that rustic appeal. At the rear, double barn doors open up to the back of the privacy area for quick and easy disposal of waste, as well as sink, kitchen cupboards, drawers, and countertops. The 2XT variant ups the ante by upgrading the suspension and adding off-road tires, as well as more durable materials used all around the exterior. The trailer also comes with its own electric brake system linked to the tow vehicle for better stopping power. There are options for wood grain linoleum or carpeted flooring, which is a great touch. You can really turn this camper into your own little home away from home. The Anza is built to be ready to go off-road at a moment's notice. It claims to be the most durable camper trailer at its price point, too. The inside cabin maximizes space by moving away from the traditional teardrop shape while still retaining a rounded front for less drag while towing. It's fully customizable, with plenty of add-ons available to make it how you want it. The Apache matches its more aggressive name with a more aggressive look coated with a black, abrasion-resistant paint that isn't afraid to get a few bumps and bruises. It offers the same blank canvas as the Anza and would be the choice for those looking for an excellent base to go the DIY route. Good things come in small packages, and the Orr Off-Road Expedition is no exception. It's mind-boggling just how much stuff you can fit into a camper with such a slim profile. The frame is well over-engineered with a 3,500-pound torsion-rated axle, providing a reliable base with a 16-inch all-terrain tire on either end 
supported by an electric brake system. There are LED lights inside and out, with USB ports, general purpose outlets, and 12-volt sockets. You're covered whatever plug your gadgets take. The addition of a propane-powered hot water heater and road shower will keep you squeaky clean. There is a huge storage box up front. The rear has enough space to contain a camping fridge freezer unit, cutlery drawer, crockery and utensil storage, and a pair of fold-out platforms to cook on. But it's the inside that really shines. There are so many nooks and crannies to store all your stuff, you'll be like a kid in a candy store. There is even a slide-out computer table for hitting up Netflix when it's dark and stormy outside. Brilliant! Easily the oddest looking trailer on the list. The Tent Tracks Overlook. Looks like the love child of a truck tray and a rooftop tent. It consists of a cargo storage area over the axles. The front storage area is open air and meant for things like lock boxes and coolers. The removal of the need for paneling keeps the overall weight to a minimum while still providing 45 cubic feet of lockable sealed area for your gear. The frame is made from hardened steel with a lightweight reinforced fiberglass body keeping it below the 500 pound mark. It has a two inch lift in the suspension and is meant for higher ride vehicles like Jeeps and trucks. There is no way a 500 pound trailer will become stuck when it's paired with a 2000 pound rated axle and 31 inch mud tires on solid steel rims. The pop-up rooftop tent is actually quite spacious and a couple would have no trouble at all having a yawn and stretching their arms up when they wake in the morning. The Ascend model offers a much better quality tent made from the new 280 GSM ripstop polycotton material that will withstand a relentless five-foot column of water for over a minute before a single drop makes it through to the inside. This rating is the equivalent of withstanding a 75 mile per hour hurricane force storm. It's also ultraviolet light and mold resistant meaning this new and improved tent will pretty much last forever, or until you stop going camping. <laughs>